this regular conference meeting. will now be recorded. Oh. Ah. Sorry, can you start that? <laughs> start it over, and please. That was my best introduction ever. Okay. <laughs> Notice is hereby given of a Friendswood Planning and Zoning Commission regular meeting to be held Thursday, March 26, 2020, beginning at 7 p.m. In accordance with Governor Abbott's suspension of various Open Meetings Act requirements pursuant to the coronavirus disaster declaration, this Planning and Zoning Commission meeting is being held by teleconference at gotomeeting.com. The Planning and Zoning Commission public hearing is called to order. This is Joe Matranga, the chair of the Planning and Zoning Commission. I would like to start the meeting by first asking for everyone's understanding and help while we work through conducting this meeting by teleconference. For both the commissioners and for those attending from the public, please state your name before you start speaking. And as much as possible, let's try to have only one person speaking at a time. During the public comment periods, com comments will be limited to five minutes and Rich Sasson, the vice chair of the Planning and Zoning Commission will be our timekeeper tonight and will notify the speaker at four minutes and then at five minutes. And for all attendees, when you are not speaking, please mute your device to avoid any background noise. I'd greatly appreciate it. We will now conduct a planning and zoning roll call to confirm attendance. And I'll just go down the list. Um, Richard Sasson. I'm present, Joe. Dick Clark. Here I am. Perfect. Eric Gunther. I'm here. Brett Banfield. Present. Lisa Lundquist. Here. Thank you. Marcus Perry. Present, sir. Thank you, sir. From the staff, Becky Bennett. Here. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Aubrey Harbin. Here. And Mary Kay Fisher. Here. And last but not least, Trish Hanks. Present. Thank you. Okay, we will now receive comments from the public regarding Lundy Lane Estates Replat, a subdivision of 7.61 acres known as 1922 Lundy Lane. Aubrey, if you would please, do you have a staff summary? Yes, sir. Um, just to explain that this is a replat to subdivide this property in, at 1922 Lundy Lane into three residential lots. The existing home will remain on the front lot while the two new lots will have access via Schulte Lane, a private road. The subdivider will be required to install a public water line and fire hydrant to serve the newly created lots prior to plat recordation. A newspaper ad was published and property owner notices were mailed to all owners within 200 feet of the subject property. Okay, thank, thank you, Aubrey. Uh, is the applicant present on the call? The um, My name's Kathy Fano. I'm with the survey company who is um, preparing the plat for this property. Okay, is there any, any as representing the uh, the applicant, do you have any, op any opening comments? The only thing that I would like to say is um, they are going to plan, they plan on installing the water line easement and the water line as soon as the plans have been approved. Um, I do know that they are in contact with some contractors and I believe they are filling out all the applications that need to be for the contractors. Great, okay, thank you. Is there anyone from the public that would like to speak for making these changes? Okay, hearing no one. Is there anyone from the public that would like to speak against making this change? Uh, my name is Glenn Dixon. And I had some questions, not really wanting to object to what they want to do. I just had a question with a surveyor. Is that allowed? I don't know what's allowed. Well, why don't why don't you ask your question and then we can we can see from there. 
So I've read the plat and it shows me where the water line's coming across, but it doesn't show any entrances to one or both of the properties going over the drainage ditch. Is it, are they planning to have two driveways, one driveway? From what I understand, they're allowed to have two driveways, one on each piece of property. Okay. And we do have approval from the drainage district already on this plat. But have they gone after one or both of them, or do you know? That, um, that I'm not sure. Any okay. uh, future development of these two lots is going to have to go back to the drainage district when they actually go to build on the lots. Um, the drainage district is going to have to approve whatever, whatever method they choose to cross that ditch, whether it be a culvert or a, a bridge. Um, and then they have to do on-site detention for both of these lots. So this is just the plat at this time. Okay. Does, does that answer your question, sir? Uh, yes, sir. No objections. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, is there anyone else that would like to speak against making this change? Okay, hearing, hearing no one else, uh, we'll move on to the next item. Next is a request to vacate a 0.1738 acre portion of a 60 foot right of way of East Heritage Drive. Aubrey, could you would please provide the staff summary? Yes, sir. First Baptist Church of Friendswood owns all four of the tracks that are abutting this subject property and is requesting that this portion of the right of way be vacated. Currently, the right-of-way is unimproved and is a dead end with no potential for extension due to the proximity to the creek. All of the no objection letters from the utility companies clearly portray there's no intent to improve or extend the utilities to this area. The church is in the process of making long-term plans to improve their campus, and currently this portion of property would remain as green space uh, according to that plan. Uh, the newspaper ad was published and property owner notices were mailed to all the owners within 100 feet. Perfect. Thank, thank you, Aubrey. Is the applicant present and would they like to make any comments? This is Stephanie Kopp. I'm with Ziegler Cooper Architects, assisting First Baptist Church Friendswood with the um, specific use permit. And I think Aubrey uh, described the situation very clearly. We do okay. not have any plans to develop this piece of property at this time, but just wanted to consolidate all the property in that area. Okay, thank you. And it may, may turn out that later in the, uh, in the meeting, we may have a question or two from one of the commissioners, if from no one else. Thank you. Is there anyone from the public that would like to speak for making these changes? Okay, hearing, hearing no one, is there anyone from the public that would like to speak against making this change? Okay, hearing, hearing none, the public hearing portion of the meeting is now adjourned and the regular meeting is called to order. We will now receive any communication from the public or committee liaisons to the commission. To comply with the provisions of the Open Meetings Act, the commission may not deliberate on subjects discussed under this agenda item. However, the commission may direct such subjects be placed on a later regular commission agenda for discussion and or possible action. Please note that public Comments will be limited, as I said earlier, limited to a maximum of five minutes per person. And the commissioners and the commission's vice chair, Richard Sasson, will be the timekeeper. Is there anyone from the public like that would like to speak at this time? Glenn Dixon, smiling off. Thank you for your time. <laughs> no, thank you for attending. Appreciate that. All right, thank you. Any other public comments? Anybody, anyone else from the public at this time? Okay, hearing no one, 
Next is the consent agenda. These items are considered routine or ministerial in nature and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion of items unless a commissioner so requests, in which case the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. Is there a motion to approve the Planning and Zoning Commission March 12th, 2020 regular meeting minutes? Mark Perry, motion for approval. Lisa Lundquist, second. Mark, was that you? Sorry, did, did you make the motion? Yes, sir. Okay, I just wanted it for my notes, thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, and under these circumstances, we will conduct a roll call of the commissioners and record their vote of yay or nay. I'll start with, uh, with Mark. Yay or nay on approval? Um, Mark Perry votes yay, please. And Lisa, you were the second. Lisa Lundquist votes yay. Mr. Sasson. Uh, Rich Sasson votes yes. Brett. Uh, Brett Banfield votes yes. Eric. Yes. And Dick. Uh, Dick Clark votes yes. And I vote yes as well. It shows to be unanimous. Okay, thank you. Next on our agenda are the action items. According to the Planning and Zoning Rules of Procedure R2019-15, all action of the commission shall be made by an affirmative vote of four or more members of the commission present at such commission meetings. Our first action item tonight is consideration and possible action regarding the Lundy Lane Estates Replat, a subdivision of 7.61 acres known as 1922 Lundy Lane. Is there a motion? To Clark, motion to approve. Eric Gunther, second. There you go. I couldn't hear who that was. Sorry, because both of you were talking. Sorry. It's Gunther. Second. Ah, got it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Aubrey, I mean, I you already gave the staff summary. Is there by chance any additional information? Uh, no, sir. I don't have anything else to add. Okay. Checking. And I'll give the, the applicant... Uh, I guess another one more chance. Is there any additional information you'd like to present at this time? No, sir. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Just, just wanted to check. Uh, we'll go through the discussion. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and just start with, uh, with Dick Clark as, as the movement. Dick, anything? Uh, I just have uh, one, one question. Um, since these lots will be over the two acres, will they be recorded as estate lots? Does it matter, Aubrey? Uh, they're just zoned single family residential. Okay. Thanks. That's all. Okay. Eric, did you have any questions or comments? I don't, Joe. Okay, I'll, I'll move to, let's go down the list, Mark, anything? Mark, did you have any comments or questions? No, sir. Lisa, I believe you have a hot mic. Lisa? Yeah, I do have a question. Can these be further subdivided? Like the, they, they're really nice lots at, at like a little over two acres, but can, once they're purchased, can they be further subdivided? Um, honestly, I don't think they would have much buildable space if they subdivide them anymore. Uh, the drainage district is requiring a hundred foot easement due to the ditch that they maintain. They have to get big equipment in there occasionally. Um, so there's a big chunk of this lot that's those two new lots that are not buildable. You can't build anything within that drainage easement. Awesome. Okay. Um, 
the my other comment was I, I looked at the other lots in the area and these were right in line I believe with I mean even subdividing them into a little over two acres they were in line with what was around them so I don't have any objections okay Rich any any comments or questions uh, yeah, I have a, a question. It may be just a little off the main track here, but the uh, the side road that is a private road, uh, Aubrey, do you know what it would take to make that a, a city road? Does it have to be brought up to a certain standard before it can become a city uh, city road? Yes, basically all those properties that front Schulte Lane would have to be platted or replatted, and that road would have to be dedicated as a public right of way. Um, the minimum right of way is 60 feet, um, which as these properties are platted, we are requiring that uh, private road easement to be widened to 60. Um, I think this is the second property on that street, second or third that we have platted, and we are getting that 60 foot dis uh, width for the road, even though it is private. Okay, so it takes unanimity, all the property owners, or at least all the ones up to the point of where you're making it public would have to have that their properties replanted yes i see okay uh so right now the private road is actually on private property for most of the route yes okay i i, I now understand thank you very much no i have real no real questions about the uh subdivision itself subdividing the property thank you okay brett any any comments or questions Uh, no comments or questions. I agree with uh, Commissioner uh, Lundquist that uh, these these lots being set aside is still be large lots, so it goes with the uh, other lots in the area. So I'm in support of this. Okay. The only remaining questions that that I have, I just want to confirm. I, I think it's it's obvious, Aubrey. It's more questions to you. Um, so there is a, a requirement from the uh, the applicant to run water back to these lots and to install a fire hydrant with adequate fire water uh, in the in proximity to these lots, correct? Yes. Okay, and so any access by fire trucks or, or fire fighting crews would come in from the private drive, is that correct? Yes, they would have to go down Schulte. Um, and like I said, the, there is a large ditch um, that is on the front of these two lots. The drainage district maintains that ditch and we've put plat notes on there and the drainage district as well. That um, they'll, whichever method they choose to cross that ditch, whether it be a bridge or culverts, will have to be approved by the drainage district. Um, okay. And then as far as uh, public works and staff, we did allow them to stop the water line short of the ditch because there's no, if they end up crossing with a bridge or something, they could eventually uh, move the water, move the fire hydrant over on the other side of the ditch. But with it being on the inside of the ditch, they will, their driveways will have to be able to support a fire truck. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then also because this is a private road, the Schulte is private, uh, any trash pickup only occurs on Lundy Lane, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I had that correct in my head. I have um, no other questions or comments. So we have a, a motion to approve and a second, and we'll start our roll call. If there's no other questions or comments from any of the other commissioners, uh, we'll start with a roll call with Dick. Uh, Dick Hart votes yes. Okay. Eric? Yes, sir, votes yes. Okay. Mark? Yes. Lisa? Lundquist votes yes. Rich? Yes, yeah, Sasson votes yes. Okay. Brett? Banfield votes yes. Okay, and this is Joe. I vote yes as, as well. So it's unanimous. It carries. Okay.
Our next action item tonight is consideration and possible action regarding a recommendation to City Council regarding the to vacate a 0.1738 acre portion of a 60 foot right of way of East Heritage Drive. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Lundquist, second. Okay, who, sorry, again, once again, who made the uh, original motion? Uh, sorry, Banfield made the original motion to approve. Okay, just, just double checking. Okay. Aubrey, any anything additional that came to mind that you'd like uh, to pass on? No, sir. Okay. Uh, Dick, Dick Clark here. Um, I uh, somehow got interrupted during the staff summary for this item. Could uh, you repeat it, please, Aubrey? Yes, sir. Um, so this is a request to vacate a small section of right of way. First Baptist Church of Friendswood owns all four of the tracks that abut the property, and they're the ones making the re uh, the request to vacate it. Um, it's an unimproved uh, roadway. It basically right now just looks like an asphalt driveway. Um, it's a dead end with no potential for extension due to the proximity to the creek. Uh, all the utility companies provided no objection letters and have no plans to extend any utilities into the right of way. And this also is the first request of the church being they're in the process of making long term plans to improve their campus. And uh, this property in particular would remain as green space according to the plans that we've seen so far. Great, thanks Aubrey, sorry. No, you're welcome. Okay, we have a, uh, well, let's go through the discussion. Brett, starting with you, any comments or questions at this point? Uh, no comment or questions. Uh, I'd like to say kudos to the Baptist Church for getting all these letters and no objections. Those are tough to get. So. Uh, so if no one objects, I have no objections either. Okay. Lisa, comment uh, this, this is a slam dunk. Uh, it benefits the church and they've done their due diligence. It's an easy one. Okay. Mark? No issues. Okay. Rich? Uh, no comments or questions. Okay. Eric? No, sir. Dick? Uh, I have nothing either. And myself, I have nothing as well. Okay, we have a motion and a second, and we'll start our roll call uh, on the approval. So I'll start with Brett. Uh, Your vote? vote yes. Okay, Lisa? Lundquist votes yes. Okay, Mark? Yes for Perry. And Rich? Sasson votes yes. Okay, Eric? Gunther, yes. And Mr. Clark? Uh, Dick Clark votes yes. Okay, I vote yes as well. It shows to be unanimous. Motion carries. Next on our agenda are communications. Uh, so this is commissioner updates. Do, you know, do any of the commissioners have anything that they wish to communicate, uh, including suggestions for future agenda items, subcommittee updates, or general comments, or updates from liaison assignments? So, Mark, I'll, I'll start. Excuse me. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, uh, Mark, I'll start with you. Any any communication at this point? No, sir. I'm good. Thank you. Hey, okay, Lisa. I have nothing. Um, keep friends with beautiful is my liaison assignment, and um, they were supposed to meet two days ago, and I believe that they did not meet. I didn't see a cancel, but I know that there was a stand down order. Right. Right. Rich, anything? No, I have nothing to report. Brett? Uh, nothing to report. Just want to say good job, Joe, and good job, staff, for putting this together. And everyone remember, shop local. 
Agreed. Eric? No, sir. Okay. And Dick? I have uh, no questions. Or uh, nothing to add, I'm sorry. No, the only thing I added is appreciate everybody's time and effort and working with us on how to accomplish this meeting uh, online. It's a it's definitely a new endeavor. So Aubrey and, and Becky and Mary Kay, thank you for all your help in getting us prepared for this. Uh, there was nothing else that I had. So we will move to the council liaison update. Ms. Hanks. Hello there. Thank you everyone for meeting like this. I'll report to Mo and, and to Mike how smoothly this was, uh, Aubrey. And this may be the way we have our next city council meeting. I'm not sure. Uh, as you know, the city is uh, at a stay home, uh, with, under a stay home order from the county judge. And I will compliment uh, our city staff leadership. They've had a, a plan that was developed years ago in the case of a pandemic, and they've been implementing that to ensure continuity of services for our residents. And I think pretty much other than being able to go to work or go out to the park and play basketball or uh, gather in large groups, you wouldn't know there was much difference in terms of our uh, ability to turn on our lights and have safe water and garbage pickup and everything else. So I appreciate everybody who's working hard. Uh, there's really nothing new to report right now because of everything that's going on. The committees have been canceled. Uh, Keep Friends with Beautiful was canceled, uh, Lisa, and so were most of the other committees. I think this is the only one, if I'm not mistaken, I think y'all are the trailblazers. This is the only one that's actually had a public meeting that's that's uh, handled it this way. So uh, again, I'll report how smoothly this went to our mayor and, and city manager, and it could be that's how we do council. But congratulations, and again, thanks for all y'all do, and stay healthy. And that's it. Okay, thank, thank you. <laughs> Next are staff's updates, Aubrey. Yes, sir. Um, I failed to put the next meeting um, item on our agenda. So I just want to mention that our next regular meeting will be Thursday, April 9th. Um, and then our second meeting for April would be April 23rd. Um, we do have some projects going through with some pretty strict deadlines. So we will be having these meetings. Um, I'm glad that this worked out as well as it did. Uh, so this may be, depending on what happens on April 3rd and moving forward, this may be the way that we have our meet, you know, next couple of meetings. Uh, also want to so add that- This, this is Lisa, is I have a question real quick. Oh yeah, um, go ahead. With those short deadlines that you were talking about, is there any way to, uh, with the um, pandemic going on, is there any way to extend those deadlines for them in the face of just things being so, um, difficult and, and awkward to do in a timely manner? Um, the only uh, concessions that have been made to this point are to the open meet, like how we have our meetings. Um, they haven't really made any exceptions to the the deadlines. Um, and it, so I, we're taking um, as many electronic submittals and we have a um, drop box outside City Hall as well. And staff is available through phone and email. So, I mean, we're doing our best to keep these projects online and, or, you know, on track and not delay anybody. All right, understood. Um, so I just want to mention City Hall is currently closed to the public in general. Um, staff is available by phone and by email, and in some cases, maybe by appointment. Um, community development does have a drop box outside City Hall, a nice little Rubbermaid tub with a lid. Um, <laughs> for dropping off building permits and plans. Um, so we're checking that several times a day. We can also leave plans in there for people to pick up. So um, today was our first day with that and it seemed to be working okay. We are also working, I think we've got about 13 of our permits that, you, that are online um, as of today. So we are able to take like re-roof permits and um, fences and driveways and things like that um, online and they can pay online. They can also request inspections um, online as well. 
So um, just thank you everybody for your patience and um, for all your help with our practice meetings to figure this out. Um, I think it went pretty well and um, I, I'll just um, echo what Trish said for everybody to stay safe and stay home. There you go. Becky, did you have anything? Thank you, Arbor. Becky? No, sir, I don't have anything to add. Okay. Mary Kay, anything? Just wanted to say congratulations. This was an excellent meeting, and uh, everybody stay safe. Okay. With that, our March 26, 2020 Planning and Zoning Regular Meeting is now adjourned. Thanks, everybody, and everybody please stay safe. Good job, Aubrey.